Stephanie has made her origami. Well, in this case, you've made the um, butterflies. You're going to finish yes. up with the butterflies and on your background. So we're ready to apply them to the quilt top. Right. Or I'll the quilt. show you how you're going to secure them. There's two okay. options. One is to take your needle and thread and put in a tiny little applique stitch, maybe at the point there, the top of the butterfly or the top of the dress, if that's what you're appliqueing on. So you would go into the fabric and then come up through the, that's very, right. the very end and then come Back around? Back down. If you could use an invisible thread, it works beautifully. And yeah. that's typically what I do to save myself any trouble of having to hide the stitches so well. But uh, your other option, if, if you're not going to be shipping this around and it's not going to be heading all over the country, if it's just hanging in your own home, you can make life easier and super glue works beautifully. I won't tell. Don't. I, won't tell. I know it's cheating, but it's easy and it's fun and that's what this is supposed to be. Well, and how do you get that needle through that? Because it's fabric, but it's stiffy fabric. Thank you for reminding me. It is stiffer. It's possible to do. You need a thimble and you need to just push a little bit harder, but you're only talking about three or four stitches. So okay. it's not that much work. And if, I've done it before and it's more secure that way.